Welcome to Recharge with Richardson, five minutes of hope and inspiration every Monday and Thursday. And now, here is today's episode. Hi there, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Recharge with Richardson. Uh, happy August the 24th. I uh, just want to give you a quick update on uh, things that are happening here at Richardson. Uh, you may notice that Pastor Godwin has not been doing recharge episodes lately. That's because he has uh, left our pastoral staff for the seminary. He's pursuing his master's degree in theology right now. We've been really sad to see him go. We miss him. Great guy. But we're blessed that we have Pastor Ruber Leal, who's joined our staff, and he's uh, leading out in our family and children's ministries, and we're excited to have him aboard, and I know you've already been blessed by an episode that he's done. So anyway, just wanted to give you that quick update. The thought that I want to share with you today, I've entitled it The Power of Optimism, and uh, something that I really, really love about God is that he really has a holistic plan for our well-being. Often when we think about God and his interest in us, we think of it in spiritual terms. Jesus died on the cross so that we could have our sins uh, forgiven and that we could be in heaven someday. And that's all very true. But but what I'm excited about even more is that God wants us not only to be spiritually healthy, but he wants us healthy in every area of our lives, physically, emotionally, relationally. God has a very holistic plan for us. And today I want to spend a little bit of time with some thoughts I've entitled The Power of Optimism. Proverbs 17 and verse 22 says, A merry heart does good like medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bones. And so in other words, what what the wise man is telling us is that being happy and positive is like medicine, literally like medicine for us in our bodies. And studies really prove that having that positive attitude is as good, and in some cases maybe better, than actual medicine for us. And I'll share some of that with you a little bit later on. But I want to share with you an interesting quote from Dr. Thomas Sydenham. He was uh, a doctor back in the 1600s in in Britain, and historians consider him to be the British Hippocrates. Um, But this is what he said, the arrival of a good clown exercises a more beneficial influence upon the health of a town than the arrival of 20 donkeys laden with drugs. And so even though he was talking about the medicines they had available back in the 1600s, studies that have been done most recently in our time are proving the same thing, that, that laughter, that happiness, a cheerful heart is really good medicine many times does more for us than actual drugs could do. Proverbs 18 and verse 24 says, the spirit of a man can sustain him in sickness, but who can bear a broken spirit? In other words, A positive attitude can actually help us overcome physical illness or or other sorts of uh, discouragements or challenges that we face. But if we have a negative attitude, if our spirit is bad, uh, then then we're really in trouble. Uh, Then then there may not be a a lot that can be done for us. And I want to share with you that, that there was a study done recently that shows that healthcare costs 50% more for patients who are depressed than patients who are not depressed. So in other words, if you are happy, your health care is going to cost you 50% less than it would if you were discouraged and down and negative about the life around you. Another study also shows us that people who worry a lot have a 250% higher risk of having a heart attack. I mean, that's something important to think about. Again, the power of optimism, having that positive attitude is so critical. Proverbs 15 and verse 15 says this, all the days of the afflicted are bad, but a cheerful heart has a continual feast. So in other words, once again, the wise man is telling us that if we have a negative outlook, if we tend to be pessimistic about life, even good days will turn out to be bad for us. But on the other hand, if we have a positive outlook, if we have a cheerful heart, it says the cheerful heart has a continual feast. In other words, if we have a positive outlook, 
then every day is a good day. Even bad days won't be as bad and we'll actually find something good about them. And so this, uh, I, I just want to help us understand that the po power of optimism can be a real blessing to us. And, and to kind of wrap up quickly, I want to share with you that there was a study that was done of a group of, of patients who had had heart attacks. And, uh, and then there was a, a, a study done with two groups, actually. One group of patients who had had heart attacks, they had them watching humorous videos where they were laughing a lot for a whole year. The other group that had had heart attacks, exactly similar, they didn't watch those humorous videos. And you know what they found out that at the end of that year, that the group that did not watch the humorous videos had a five times more incidence of recurrence of heart attacks. Those that watched the humorous videos and laughed a lot had a five time less heart attack recurrence incidence. That's powerful. That's the power of positive outlook. It really does lead you to good health. And so I just wanna wrap up with a statement from John Wooden. He said this, things turn out best for the people who make the best of the way things turn out. And so I wanna encourage you today, choose to have a positive outlook. Trust God with it because guess what? God's got this, and God's got you. Thank you for joining us for Recharge with Richardson. Don't forget to join us for our next episode, and until then, may God fill you with joy and peace and hope.